Mike and Jen. Today we're going to the Elephant Nature Park. It's a sanctuary for elephants. They are elephants that were previously human owned and abused and for work or for tourism. So now they get to live the rest of their lives in the sanctuary. So it's an hour and 35 minutes drive away from Chiang Mai depending on traffic. We're currently halfway there. We're at a 10 minute pit stop and we spend the whole day here from 8 30 all the way to 5 30. 8 30 was the pickup time. Uh, we will have lunch, a vegetarian lunch there, a buffet lunch. We do get to feed them here at the this, this sanctuary. So this trip pretty much costs about uh, 10,500 baht for the three of us. So roughly that's a, a, around $150 Canadian. So we're excited to go see them and we're almost there. It's an actual elephant. Welcome to the Elephant Nature Park. So we're here at the sanctuary at 10.15, so about 15 minutes. We're going to be able to feed the baby elephants. Okay, so don't go out without... <laughs> 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 Doesn't like bananas. Oh, what? It takes your bananas? This one likes the bananas? Yeah. <laughs> this guy doesn't want one. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, 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 there he goes. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Do my bananas. Yeah. Rejected. Scroll down to see podcast. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Their trunks are strong. Yeah. I think this is where they prepare food for the elephants. So our tour guide right now is explaining these pictures on, on the on the ceiling. So these are the elephants that they bought from like a business, a business, um, and rescued them and brought them here. Um, and each elephant has their own story that you could see. Um, some of them have passed away, but it's it's kind of sad, right? Like these elephants were abused and stuff um, throughout their lives. Um, and this place buys elephants. So this part of the tour, we get to walk in the grounds where the elephants actually roam. So we'll be like right up close to them and stuff. That's where we fed them up there. Buffalo. They were rescued from slaughterhouses and now they live oh, here in the sanctuary. I think it's pretty cool. They let us just walk around without like fences or anything separating us and the animals. And they're, they're so calm. Like they don't bother us. They don't come up to us really. Look, there's elephants. Look at them. They're so big. They're so big. Elephants. This one's name's Tilly. We're allowed to touch this one, but not the other two. So rough. Yeah. They have a lot of little short hairs, um, but the skin is like really thick and really rough. But the real nature of them are when they young, they have a lot of hair. So these two elephants were rescued. Um, they're about 70 or 80 years old and how they tell how old the elephants are is how sunken in their like above their eyes how sunken in their head is because they lost the air kind of like humans will lose collagen is what she said but 80 year old elephants. This one's champagne. That one's Sasa. Sasa, Sasa was a riding elephant that was rescued. This is champagne. Oh yeah, she's got way more hairs. Look at all the hairs. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Okay, bye. It's longer hair, right? Longer hair. More yeah. bristly. Very bristly. The caretaker says that Sasa's skin is more smooth because of her age and because um, she's been a riding elephant for a very long time before they rescued her. 
So the, all the up and down movements in the saddle got rid of her hair. Oh, she peels them. <laughs> Takes it right to the face. Like a champ. Clean the horn. <laughs> Fruit looks good. The fruit looks really good. Lunch time, and they're serving vegan and vegetarian dishes. Different types of noodles. This is pad thai, spring roll, fried rice. They have regular rice too to go with the curries, but essentially green curry and then different kinds of curry. There we go. <laughs> it's super hot out right now. The sun's like directly above us. Um, and we're following elephants around. There's some babies over there. They like to play together. Yeah. They chase each other. They're coming at us hot though. Yeah, so we gotta move out of the way. Yeah. Come on. Please come here, she follow food over there. Right now she's very confident. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she make us moody. <laughs> All the elephants are eating now in the back. There, they're all eating. Feeding time. And I think we have to walk around this entire thing, so we have to go out in the hot sun again. And walk over there. It's hot. It's hot, guys. If baby makes some some noise, she attract from behind. What they do? Just say hi. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a little bit. Oh, 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 it's coming right at us. Now those guys come right at you. The and they're so, they're so quiet. Yeah. They're so quiet. They like sneak up on you like ninjas. And then so they come at you so quick. Like two steps and they're like right in your face. The keeper says it's the elephant that we fed this morning. So it recognizes our smell. So that's why it comes up to us thinking we have food. That's what makes this tour interesting. You need a little bit of fear. <laughs> Thank you. 
dogs are eating things. There's no shade for miles. We're gonna die here. Okay, what now? Hide, hide. From human make for blind. We just learned something like a lot of people here in Chiang Mai is they find the white buffaloes. It's apparently like really lucky. That's it for the tour around the um, Elephant Nature Park. Uh, we're done now. Mm -hmm. um, it's still really hot outside. It's a really cool experience. Like this is one of the things that you have to do if you come here. Come to Chiang Mai. Um, you actually get to walk up close to them. Like they're not caged um, off from you. They're not separated. So it, it's it's really cool check it out but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video thanks a lot for watching please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one